like a lot of us, you love biting into a thick, juicy steak or maybe a mouth-watering hamburger. Now imagine that meat you're eating was grown in a lab. Sound a little futuristic to you? Well, the future is now. A Dutch biologist could reportedly have in vitro meat on the menu by the end of the year. Yeah, it likely won't be mass produced by then, mm. but you know, ABC 15 now here, uh, it's never too early to be on the front end of a trending topic. So what is your take on meat made in a lab? <laughs> Fans of the idea say it's going to be better for the environment, but is that enough for you to dig in? Is your mouth watering? I don't know if Not mine is. So well, here to talk about this topic and everything else we're going to be buzzing about today is Amanda Vega. She runs her own PR firm. Yes, but she's also a self-described uh, social media zealot, and she has mm -hmm. built one of the biggest followings on Twitter here in the Valley. Mm -hmm. You're up to, what, 17,000? Something like that. 17,000? Oh, gosh. What do you do with yourself? You know what? I'm not sure. I, I would never tell you that I was that interesting, but apparently people like to listen. Well, what, do you, what would you tweet about the, uh, the in vitro meat? My, my first tweet, because I talk about meat actually a lot, um, <laughs> being a girl from Texas, I wouldn't care where it's grown. Mm -hmm. I would prefer it to be corn-fed, though. That would basically be my stance on it, because I'm a huge corn-fed beef Yeah, fan. I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. I'm a Texan, right. born and raised. I, yeah. you know, Organic but even better. Or, organically corn-fed. I'm good with that. Good, happy medium. I love a good steak and a hamburger, and I'm willing to try anything. <laughs> Grass-fed, corn-fed, I'm in good. Vitro, as long as it's medium rare. An in vitro <laughs> hamburger sounds a little unique to me. Would you try it? I would probably try it. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Give it a try. Well, try you know, odder things in life. Exactly. Try everything once, mm -hmm. as long as it's legal. <laughs> there are some, some interesting facts yeah, about yeah. this. Let's go, get to those. Go ahead. Look at this. Okay. This. All right. You so, and I are talking about this. We'll share. All right. If you are green, if you mm -hmm. like to go green and you're environmentally friendly, consider this. In vitro meat would use up to 60% less energy and emit up to 95 percent less greenhouse gas. I still, I still like the real stuff. I, I, you know what, I even like bologna. Is that embarrassing to say? Oh, you're, next, next, Chris, you're going to say, I like liverwurst. I, I don't like liverwurst, <laughs> but I do like bologna. I know it might be embarrassing. Okay, let's talk, uh, uh, I don't know, a hot dog, a, a corn dog, all that fun stuff. Well, what about like veggie burgers? Would you go like to that? a nice restaurant and order an in vitro steak? Ooh, that oh, was, that wow, was, what a long pause. I, I'm just thinking, what would the price be? I don't know if I would pay as much mm. for an in vitro steak as I would a good grown steak. I wonder if it will bring prices down, though, mm -hmm. because it's going to cut down on land use. As the population increases, we have more people to feed. Right. And, you know, proponents of this are saying, hey, this is a great way to keep costs down. Um, you'd leave a, a lighter carbon footprint and still get the job done. I wonder if it would be more expensive because uh, reading the article here, it says it um, could be grown without the use of hormones and they could even engineer it to be high in healthy omegas or other nutrients. Um, and, the, and it also goes on to say we could eat weird stuff like zebra meat or hammerhead sharks since animals don't have to die and only have to donate a few cells. Would you eat zebra meat that was engineered in a lab? <laughs> How's that for a question you, well, of the day? That's like asking if, if you would uh, eat a horse. And, and some people do. Sure. There are people who do eat horse meat here in this country. Well, let's steer it back down to uh, beef. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back into safe territory. Okay, let's go to the viewer comments. I want to see what some of the people are writing in about this. Ian Herrera writes in, if this makes it over here in the U.S., I would give it a try if it passes very strict FDA requirements. Danae Jones says, I think it's better to eat hamburger the way it is. The new idea of Frankenfood is only going to be recalled. Cherry Hill writes in, sounds absolutely disgusting. That will push me towards veggies and fruit grown <laughs> in real soil. Veggies and yeah, fruit are always good. I'm with you there. I try to definitely have more fruit and veggies than I yeah. do red meat. Uh -huh. And then Francis Pixie Stark says, and so the zombie apocalypse <laughs> begins. Amanda Vega, what are you going to tweet out about this? <laughs> I think it'll be something clever about meat and corn fed in vitro meat. And, okay. you know, you never know what's going to happen from there. We're going to have a bunch of people that ha can't have babies talking about this for All some right, reason. We're going to come back to this. I know your 17,000 <laughs> followers are waiting for that. All right. Well,